What's up guys, it's K2 here and uh, today I've got a quick tutorial in Adobe Illustrator. Uh, you can see here I've got the new version Adobe Illustrator CS6 and I'm on a 32-bit as well. So if anyone's looking for that, just give me a shout and I'll help you out. Uh, it's well worth it. I love the like layout of it and the colour scheme of how it's like a dark theme to it. It's absolutely beautiful but I'm yet to still figure out everything in it. I'm, I'm new to this so hopefully what i'm gonna what i'm thinking about doing is focusing more on adobe illustrator and then releasing a lot of tutorials and a lot of work out in there um so best of luck for that one but today i've got a quick tutorial of getting the best out of the pen tool and going around images because i know a lot it, it's frequent a lot of people like to pick up images and cr create their own versions of it you know like um like tracing around it and stuff so Today I've got a quick tutorial on how to do this effectively and you know get the right curves, get the perfect curves and just make it flow really nice. Okay, so I've just picked up a image off the internet. Um it's a skateboarding logo and I've already done a version of this actually. Uh, I've got the file somewhere and I've just gone around it and shit. But the good thing about this is if you're looking to do something like this, you can see it's totally symmetrical. Like if you put a mirror down here, it'll be even on both sides. So you, all you need to do is just grab the ruler tool, put a put like the thing down the middle, and you just do one side and flip it. It's absolutely easy. Um, piece of piss. It's good good stuff to do. Um, so grab the pen tool and we're gonna put this start it from here, and we're just gonna follow this up here. Um, I'm not focusing on this bit yet, but I'm just it's gonna be like this is needed for the tutorial so I'm just doing this and getting the points and uh, right, now we're on to at this stage you know that was a nice easy bit because we got like all the straight bits but now we come to a curve so we managed to do the curve all right here but you notice we've got another sharp curve going the other way and a uh, one way to do this is which a lot of people use is to hold out and move this point just tiny weeny there like here so it's on the, on the direction like so and then follow it round like this so you can get the curve going yeah which a lot of people do but as you'll see um, I forgot to create a new layer but YOLO uh, as you'll see here now um, you can see it kind of goes out and then around like that and you can see it's not even so what you want to do now what you want to do for this is I'm just going to color this a different color so it stands out because that's they're sort of the same color so we'll go for a red and um we'll just take off this and uh, we'll just give it yeah so we've just got red here and you can see here we're going to grab the selection tool and we're going to come over to here and we're just going to delete it we're going to delete this um anchor point and bam deleted right now what you want to do is to this point here you want to grab the pen tool and click on the point the anchor point at the end here and you just want to drag it round to this here um hold on one sec I'll just zoom out a bit so it doesn't move with it uh, just here and you can see you can align it perfectly and just make it flow like really nice and see it's a perfect perfect curve angle so basically the moral of this I mean it might not be inch perfect there but still if you're gonna flip it it's gonna look exactly the same so you know you're not losing out on anything but it's just a really 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 effective well not a really 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 but an effective way to use the pen tool it's just basically deleting the spare anchor point which you created then to um, curve it round uh, you could see it was out of line so you just delete it and then just create another one and bam you've got this nice curve going on and it's just a it's, it's more of a beginner's tutorial this uh, just pointing out the you know simple stuff but it is effective you know to get the right sort of shape and proportion going on you're gonna have to do it that way but that's all I know for that uh, but if you've got any questions please just um leave a comment or a private message you know I've left over em now so I'll be doing a lot of shit on here uh, from beginner tutorials to advanced but I'm still learning myself so there won't be more there won't be such big advanced tutorials to come soon but there will be in I don't know 
during a year in like the year space there'll be there'll be loads then because i'm starting art and design at college um in september so i'll be having a lot of new shit out there and i'll be like you know finding my feet and learning stuff uh also um just for all i've got something for all you guys and that's basically what i'm going to show you now is stock images i'm going to give you all like my stock images because i don't really use them anymore and probably a lot of people will find better use than they are to me uh, but I've got a really good collection of like stock images which I've collected over the time in original free media which I've been using for my work a lot but I don't really use them as much anymore but some of them are really really cool um, and when you use them in Photoshop I'd recommend to also change the layer mode um, to like overlay multiply shit like that because some of them can look better in that way um, I know there was there's a certain a certain one in these with um there might be more than one. These these were screen and multiply, which you the it just gets rid of the white and you've just got the the paint thing here. Um so they're pretty good. Uh but there's another one, um I can't remember where I picked it up, but it's really, really cool. And basically all you need to do is change like I can't remember what it is. Uh where there. Here we go. It's this one here. And basically all you need to do is just change the mode and it gives it a really cool effect. I can't I don't I can't think of anything to describe it, but you just basically gotta try that one out. Uh so yeah, I'll just post that in the description for all you guys and that's basically about it. If you've got any questions I'll recommend you tutorials. Um actually yeah, if there's any subscribers who like my stuff and want to know a tutorial from my work, please uh, please leave a comment and I will do the tutorial because I'm stuck with ideas at the moment. So if you've got any ideas at all, give me a shout and I'll do the tutorial for you. Um, and that's about it. I'll leave my like work in the description so you can be like, oh, I like this. How did you do this? Do a tutorial on this. And that's about it. So thanks for watching and stay subbed.